can hear you. That's great. That's great. I was starting to get worried about you. I was starting to get worried about you. You're in an interesting place. I thought we may have to be a little emergency work. I don't think that'll ever be necessary with you. The job that you do is incredible. And I'm here with Vice President Mike Pence, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine, and my daughter Ivanka. We're thrilled to be speaking live with two brave American astronauts who are making history, joining us during their spacewalk outside the International Space Station. And this is the first time for a woman outside of the space station, our flight engineers Christina Cook and flight engineer Jessica Meir. And I just want to congratulate you. What you do is incredible. It's so — you're very brave people. I don't think I want to do it. I must tell you that. Uh, but uh, you are amazing people. They're conducting the first ever female spacewalk to replace an exterior part of the space station. Uh, they're doing some work, and uh, they're doing it in a very high altitude, an altitude that very few people will ever see. Congratulations, Christina and Jessica, on this historic event. This is truly historic. And you're right now on television all over the world, so don't get nervous. <laughs> I'd like to ask you a question. What would you like to tell everyone listening and watching today, especially young women often, you know, who are interested in space? There's about a four or five second delay. Ah, OK. Oh, thank you. First, first of all, we don't want to take too much credit because there have been many other female space walkers before us. This is just the first time that there have been two women outside at the same time. And it's really interesting for us. We've talked a lot about it up here. You know, for us, this is really just us doing our job. It's something we've been training for for six years and preparing for. And so it didn't really, you know, for us, it's just coming out here and doing our job today. We were the, we were the crew that was tasked with this assignment. At the same time, we recognize that it is a historic achievement. And we do, of course, want to give credit to all those that came before us. There have been a long line of female scientists, explorers, engineers, and astronauts. And we have followed in their footsteps to get us where we are today. We hope that we can provide an inspiration to everybody, not only women, but to everybody that has a dream, that has a big dream, and that is willing to work hard to make that dream come true. Something that all of us that have made our way up here have done all throughout our lives. And I can tell you, the hard work certainly did pay off. I've only been up here a few weeks, actually, about three weeks I've been in space, and this is my first flight and my very first spacewalk. So it is a pretty incredible feeling, I'm sure you can all imagine, and it's one that I will never forget. I'm extremely fortunate to be sharing this moment with Christina Cook, who is not only my colleague, but also a very, very close and dear friend. So it's really our honor to be out here working today and to be representing whatever it is that's significant to whatever, whatever individual's desires and heart. Thank you. Well, Christina and Jessica, I would like to, if I could, uh, just thank you. Jessica, I know that you've been doing this and you've been working hard. And, Christina, I've studied your resume. It's really incredible what you've done, what you've both done. Your lives have been incredible, and now you're in a place that, as I said, uh, very few people will ever get that experience. You're doing an incredible job. This is a first step, uh, because we're going to the moon, and then we're going to Mars. We're launching from the moon, most likely. They seem to think that's the best way of doing it, Jim. So we're launching from the moon. And I just want to congratulate you both. You're very brave, brilliant women. And you represent this country so well. And our country is very proud of you. And we are very proud of you. Millions and millions of people are watching you right now. But I will tell you, uh, what you do is, is really something very special. So first the moon, and then we go to Mars. Thank you both very much. Have a good time. We might have lost the link at this point. I don't know. Maybe they didn't like my message. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. 
Anyway, two great women, two great people, and uh, you know, a big danger, not easy. It's not an easy thing to do. A lot of people would take a pass on that one, but uh, they're, they're great women. Okay, back to the scoop. I think I heard that. There's the link. That's the link. Oh, that's, that's like the link. From. That's the end of the link. So they heard my message, and they tried to respond. And <laughs> It's space. I assume, I assume they're okay. I assume they're okay. Anyway, they're actually outside of the ship, so that's something, right? That's the first time that's uh, taken place. The first time since 1969 that a president has spoken to astronauts outside of the spaceship. So that was a great. That was a great. Uh, it's a great thing. When are they coming back? What's the timing? So each one is different. Uh, uh, Christina Cook is actually going to be uh, have Thank the longest single endurance uh, single Christina endurance mission. Jessica, we're resuming normal operational communications. Okay. Um, so she's going to be uh, on space station for, I think it's uh, a little, about 10 months, which is the longest wow. we've ever had a woman on the space station ever. What's the longest for a man? Uh, 345 days. So, um, so why don't you have the woman break the record? Well, we, we have a, a very tight schedule <laughs> when it comes to windows to get back and forth to the International Space Station. But that's within the realm of what is possible. We, we're working on schedules, sir. Well. And next to a woman on the moon, right? That's right. The, uh, by direction of the president, uh, we will have the, the first man, or I should say the first woman and next man on the south pole of the moon will be Americans. And what's your timing on that? Uh, well, it's better not to say it uh, get it. Get it done before you talk about it. Okay, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, go ahead.